Hi, my name is Ed Rudiger and I'm pastor here at Cove Presbyterian Church. I'm so glad you called our prayer line. Before we have a word of prayer together, though, I'd like to share with you some scripture and a devotion I wrote. The scripture passage comes from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. The point is this. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, he who scatters abroad, he gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies the seed to the sower and the bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For in rendering this ministry, not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Through the testing of this ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and the generosity of your sharing with them and with all others, while they long for you and pray for you because the surpassing grace of God that he has given you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. And here's a devotion that I entitled, Pay It Forward. There was a movie, uh, I think about a couple of decades ago, entitled Pay It Forward. And it was based on the idea that after receiving an act of generosity, we should help someone else who's in need, rather than merely thanking the one who was generous towards us. In other words, we take the gift and pay it forward. Of course, if, if everyone chooses to apply this concept to their lives, acts of kindness will spread, and eventually everyone will be touched in a positive way by the first act. And you know, that's really what we've been called to do as we live out our Christian lives. You see, God has been, well, man, he has been generous to us. I mean, he's given us a wonderful world in which to live, and he entered our time and space as Jesus Christ to free us from the burden of sin, and he inspires us by the Holy Spirit so that we can understand and claim his generosity. Now, those are God's gifts to us, and they weren't based on our effort, but given out of his generosity. And we can respond by passing that grace on to others, particularly to those in need of something we have. In fact, the most complete expression of thanks is to take what we've been given and to use it so that we might give to our neighbor. You see, for followers of Jesus Christ, we've been called to pay it forward. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, be with the caller. Give him comfort and support and hope. In the name of Christ, amen. I'm so glad you called. I'd love to visit with you. If you're ever in the neighborhood, that's 3404 Main Street here in Wharton. Come on by Cove and we'll have a visit. Of course, if you're around here Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, we'd love to see you in worship. And so until I talk with you again, I want you to remember, you're a child of God, and God loves you very much. Goodbye.